Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy, Lord. We thank you for just everything that you are, that King of kings and Lord of lords. Lord, I appreciate the songs so much tonight. They speak to our hearts. And Lord, I just ask that you would just, I guess, allow us as we read those words and as we sing those songs, Lord, that they would plant deep into our heart. That it would show our true self, that we would pour out who we want to be with you, Lord, and Lord, that you would bless us. Lord, teach us how to follow you in a greater way. Heavenly Father, once again, uh, lift up those across the world that are facing tyranny because they follow you. This idea of no turning back, how many of them have had to face even life and death situations? Because, Lord, they've called upon you to be the king of their life. And then, Lord, they've been asked to, to turn away from that. Heavenly Father, we just ask that you would give them strength, Lord, that you would just supernaturally surround them right now with a peace to know that other people around the world are standing fast with them. That, Lord, as much as we love you, Lord, we desire that they love you. And as much as you protect us, Lord, we desire that you protect them. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your presence here, Lord. And, Lord, we've got a prayer list, Lord. I, I lift up Jerry to you, Lord. I just, uh, Jerry uh, has some huge issues going on, health issues, Lord Jesus. He needs you in a mighty way. Lord, you are the God of miracles. You are the great healer. You can do all things, Lord. And so we ask, Lord, that you would just be upon his life and his wife's life, Lord, we just ask that you would be upon that whole situation, Lord. Lord, when things look so dire, when things look so dark, Lord, let your light shine into their rooms and into their lives and into their hearts in the mightiest of ways. Lift up their entire family, Lord, that you would shore them up and refresh them, Lord. That they would be still able to sing about your mercies and sing about your strength and sing about your love. But Lord, we ask for a healing touch in his life, in his family's life, the, the entire family, Lord. We ask that you would be a healing in that family, Lord. Ways. Lord, I lift up Gladys to you, Lord. She's a stunt daredevil, I guess. She seems to come in with something new each and every day as of late. But Lord, we just thank you for her uplifting spirit, Lord. Even when she's down, she still lifts us up. And so, Heavenly Father, we just ask you to be with Red and Gladys. I know Red's having to carry some of the burden of the household things, Lord. We just ask that you would strengthen and encourage him, Lord. But, Lord, that you would just have your hand upon them, as you always do. But, Lord, even in the midst of struggles, Lord, I know that they look to you and call you their king. And so, Heavenly Father, we ask that you would do a mighty healing in her life to remove the pain, Lord. And then shore up and strengthen any bones that need to be strengthened, Lord. Lord, we ask that there would be no hindrance in her serving. Lord, she'd like to be up here doing her music. And Lord, we just ask that you be with her in her healing time, Lord. And just let her know that she's loved in a mighty way. Lord, we lift up uh, Kevin and Francie, especially Francie, Lord, with her health issues also, Lord. Lord, it's no, it's no surprise to me that those are serving you that are coming under attack, Lord, in physical and spiritual ways. Heavenly Father, we ask that you be with Francie's situation, Lord. We ask that you just... We go into her body, Lord, and begin to remove those things that are causing a hindrance, that are causing pain, Lord. Heal those things that need to be healed. But Lord, I ask you also that you just would assure her and encourage her, Lord, that, to just be about the business that she needs to do also, Lord, to help in that healing process, Lord. And Kevin, Lord, he's been working long hours. He's got lots of like so many of us at home, Lord. I just ask that you would encourage him also, Lord. I know that he grows weary sometimes with the, with the weight they've been carrying. So, Heavenly Father, come into that household and use many of us as you can, Lord, to come in to shore them up and encourage them, Lord, to pray for them, Lord. Let them know that they're loved by you, Lord, but especially, Lord, we just ask that you be with Francie, Lord, and you do a healing in her life in a special way. I want you to be with the Fry family also, Lord. They had an auction yesterday, and it's always hard when you kind of reopen some old wounds. You have reminders of things and family issues that go on with all that, Lord. I just ask that you be with that family in a mighty way also. Lord, it's difficult to watch what your uh, what your husband or what your father has kind of built up through the years just go away one thing at a time or go into this truck and that trailer and by the end of the day it's all gone. So Heavenly Father, we ask that you would fill that empty void that they have. Lord, I know that they've been doing so well, but Lord, yesterday was kind of a reminder. It kind of brought some emotion back. And so Lord, I ask that you be in the midst of that. I know they're seeking you out. And Lord, just bring your peace, that peace that passes all understanding into that family and that issue, Lord. We lift up Sandy Lizakowski to you, Lord, as she prepares here. I think it's on the 19th, Lord. We just ask you to continue to be with her. What I appreciate about Sandy, Lord, is even when she has her own issues that she's preparing for, she's busy about helping others. And Lord, that's what you're all about. You're all about us loving, going outside of ourselves, looking outside of ourselves, and yet trusting that you're going to take care of what's on the inside of us. So, Lord, we ask that you be with her and Ron, Lord, and that's been a long road. 
We ask, Lord, that you just bring that to a completion with a healing, Lord. I'd love to hear a great report of a complete healing. Lord, I know they would testify greatly to that. Lastly, Lord, we got lots of people sitting here, and everyone has something that they're probably working on, or maybe someone's been working on them, Lord. So, Heavenly Father, I just ask that you bring your peace and your confidence, and Lord, that we look to your word, and we, we look to prayer time, and we look to devotion time with you, Lord, to have that strength to be able to face the next day, to have that strength to be able to face the next situation. And then, Lord, to give you praise and glory as we walk through those difficult, dark times, to know that you are with us, Lord, that we don't walk alone. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everyone that's here tonight. Bless them in a mighty, mighty way. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. Patty is ready for the kids to go back. I mean, what a celebration. They're going to go downstairs to their new room. Don't eat anything in there. Don't touch the walls. Sit quietly. <laughs> Wrap them up in plastic. Can you do that, Patty? And just lay them gently on the carpet. Yeah. It's going to be lived in now again. That's great. Yeah. That's great to have them stomping downstairs. Didn't you miss that little herd? Going down there? Yeah.